Hello subscribers and YouTube watchers, this is Vips from Slidenet over here. In this vid, I'm gonna go ahead and make this block. But before I do anything, I wanna show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do in this vid. So here I have my 7, 8, 9, divide by and this left bracket, right? Now they are inside this horizontal linear layout, which is our green box, right? And then we have 4, 5, 6, multiply and the other closing bracket, which is inside another horizontal linear layout. Same thing for 1, 2, 3, minus sign, right? And, say, and if you see this equal to button, now this is not a part of the horizontal linear layout because vertically it's taking twice the space. So we can't do that with a horizontal linear layout. Now, can this be a part of a vertical linear layout? Now think about this. This can be a vertical linear layout. This can be another one. This can be third one. But here again, we are stuck, right? Because zero is not a part of these two vertical linear layouts. So we have an odd man in both ways, either horizontally or vertically. So that's why I've decided to take up things horizontally because there are less number of layouts if we go horizontally compared to the vertical ones, right? So next, you have this zero dot and the plus sign inside this horizontal box, which is our horizontal linear layout. Now, how do we uh, group these two things together? It's very simple. We take your one, two, three, that is the layout, this green box one and the green box two, these two boxes, put them one below each other inside this brown box which is a vertical linear layout and now this brown box and this equal to are actually one near each other and that means they are inside a horizontal linear layout right this blue box that is our horizontal linear layout in this case and now again there is something you guys should observe now this is four buttons and this is one button and that's exactly the ratio i've taken over here four is to one all right now if you see green box one green box two and our blue box they are inside this pink box which is vertical linear layout this is our complete structure and again there are some ratios you guys have to see take a look one one is to two this is the ratio right we need to bring this ratio in terms of layout width so what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to construct this basic skeleton that is our pink box and these two green boxes and this blue box inside that so let's go and do that in eclipse all right so what i have here is i have my black box in the diagram inside this black box what i need to do is i need to make this green box number one green box number two and this blue box right so let's go and do that here in the code where is the black box let's find it out first here is the black box right inside this i'm gonna go ahead make the linear layout one which is gonna be our green box one for the width i'm gonna say match parent for the height i'm gonna say wrap content for now we're gonna use layout weights over here Control shift f to format stuff let's go down now so here i'm gonna give this an id i'm gonna call it uh, green box number one and this is a horizontal linear layout because it is going to have 7, 8, 9 divided by in this horizontally. So this is a horizontal linear layout. Let's give this a color just to distinguish it. You want to say background over here. And let's say 0, uh, F0 for green color. Let's go to the graphical layout and see. We are going to see nothing because there is no content inside this. No problems. We'll put content. Don't worry about that. Let's copy paste the same thing because we need another green box that is 4, 5, 6, multiply and the closing bracket. So let me copy paste the same green box over here in the linear layout go down call this green box number two and give this a slightly darker color so that i can see the dis difference between both of them i call this zero a zero dark green and next below this i have my blue box which is again a complex structure let me go and make the blue box which is going to be simply again copy page for this i'll call this gray blue box with the width match parent height match parent and this is a vertical linear layout i believe but for now let's keep things as it is all right for the color, I'm going to say 0, 0, F. That's our blue color. Let me go to the graphical layout and see how that looks. We'll see nothing over here because there's nothing inside. So now there is the time to give the weights. Now, if you remember, this green box 1 has a ratio of 1 in terms of height in the presentation. And this, again, the green box 2 has a proportion of 1. And this blue box has a height of 2, right? So let's go and do that in our code. I'm going to give the first one a width of layout weight of 1. That is our green box number 1. For the second one, I'm going to give a layout weight of 1 again. For the blue box, I'm going to give a layout weight of 2. So since this is a vertical linear layout, that is our parent layout, it's a black box. We are going to have layout height as redundant. So we're going to cut 0 dp over here for all of them. Let's go to the graphical layout and see how that looks. Okay, there is the green box number 1, green box number 2 and the blue box. Now this green box is actually clashing with the above green box. So you guys cannot see it clearly. Let me change the color slightly for the first one from 0 F0 to something like 0 D0 all right now you guys can clearly see those three boxes one below each other all right now it's time to put some buttons inside so inside this first green box let me put 7 8 9 divide by in the plus inside the horizontal linear layout. where's the green box one here's our green box one I need to put five buttons inside let me drag and drop copy paste the same five buttons which we created previously for the first button we probably have a name 7 then we have our 8 over here okay for the division symbol we are again stuck it's hold alt enter 246 on your numpad and there's your division symbol right and then you have your uh, opening bracket over here 
remove the closing bracket now remember there's some error over here you probably guys are wondering what is going on don't worry about it the width should be uh, this is a horizontal linear layout right just the green box one is horizontal linear layout so the width should be wrap content for each of them the height should be match parent let's go and do that I want to copy paste this for all the buttons first all right now there's a layout weight of one which is already given over here because we copy pasted it from the previous step all right so if you see this uh, green box one is actually a horizontal la linear layout so when you give a layout weight that means the width calculation becomes redundant so make it zero dp for all of them let's go to the graphical layout and check how this looks oh there you go seven eight nine divide by and our left bracket now next we need to create is a four five six multiply and the closing bracket the same copy paste of these five buttons let's go and do that so here are my five buttons created i'm going to go ahead copy paste these they are going to go inside the second green box over here which is given by green box two inside our code so here inside this i'm going to go ahead copy paste them all right so for here the buttons are four and we have five six for the multiply i'm going to simply put an x over here and we have our closing bracket right let's go to the graphical layout and take a look all right things look good we have four five six multiply and the closing bracket so in this bit, this is all we are going to build. In the next bit, we are going to go and break this blue box into its complex uh, stuff, which you see over here on the screen. We'll do that in the next bit. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel, comment, let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear from you guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next bit. Have a nice day.